In ports, on ships, rail cars, and trucks, they are ubiquitous, those reusable steel rectangular boxes which carry most of the world's international cargo. Every year, nearly 150 million of them are on the move. Because of an imbalance of trade, containers heading from Asia to the Americas, Europe, and Africa are full, but return mostly empty. Shipping industry officials say it costs freight haulers and shipping companies tens of billions of dollars per year to move and store the empties. That got then-investment banker Avinder Bindra thinking about a solution, a container that folds to one-fourth its size. As you can look around, probably more, a lot of these containers which are lying around are empty. Now, if you can just imagine a picture where you can fold or where you can keep four containers in the space of one, in other words, you have four containers, imagine the land which is being freed up. He says others had tried but failed to create a sturdy replacement. So Bindra enlisted professors Anup Chala and Sudipto Mukherjee of the India Institute of Technology, and they say they designed one that works and is stable. So the folding scheme that we have um, allows the container to take that load, which a normal non-folding container would do. Mukherjee says what makes the container work is a simple folding mechanism, a hydraulic base station. It is operated by one or two unskilled workers who can collapse containers horizontally and stack them in several minutes. Chala says the design looks simple, but it took three years to go from the drawing board to something viable. One often hears of cases when uh, a product is designed on the board and it never sees the light of the day, light at the end of the tunnel. So uh, it was very nice to see something working, and uh, we really hope that uh, it takes off commercially also. The Institute's professors say they have accomplished their mission and handed the project back to the former investment banker who initially approached them. Now most of the work is with Mr. Binder to try and commercialize it. <laughs> Bindra says the next step is to get a prototype certified as seaworthy by global agencies. And once that is done, then it'll be fit to be used on the ships. While the foldable model will cost 10 to 15 percent more to make than today's containers, Indra says shippers will save that amount in one or two sea journeys. The creators say they plan to license manufacturers in China and other countries to make the foldable shipping container. Steve Herman, VOA News, New Delhi.